What is up, y'all? What's up, Lexan? I'm sorry it deleted your message and banned you for 30 seconds, but yeah. How we doing? We doing good? Tonight's gonna be quick. Me too. Legit, don't even know the last time I could hang out and wasn't doing something else like being at work. I'm glad you're here. Definitely glad you're here. Glad you're able to make it. It's not going to be a long stream. Um, pretty quick dinner tonight. Hey, Anu. Made it more dramatic. So, Anu... is title's been fixed thanks Anu um, Anu is the creator of this lovely little emote we are doing a chicken with mushroom and shallot cream sauce um, and I bought some store made uh or made garlic bread because I want it with my dinner and I don't want to go through the process of making it. So, Anu is a wonderful person. So is Luxon. Y'all are making this hard. What food so let me talk about? <laughs> Elevated Taco Bell. I'm also really excited. So, uh, for those of you that don't know, um, I'm working on totally revamping my entire kitchen. Not obviously the cabinets and whatnot because I'm in an apartment, but style and aesthetic. Um, and I'm probably gonna add some RGB so I can do some mood lighting in here. Um, we are doing things like these wonderful bottles. We're gonna be doing um, kind of a D&D &D fantasy, um, D &D fantasy style tavern. Um, so that's kind of going to be the, the theme and what we're going to be doing. Um, kind of a role-playing event. I'll have dishes that are named after um, just, just different fantasy style names for what we eat every day. But we're going we're gonna to make it fun. We're going to have some fun with it. So that's going to be happening hopefully in the next few weeks. Um, I've got a lot to do. I've got to bust out the sewing machine. We're, we're going all in. We're, we're doing this and we're going to do it right. So I'm excited. Um, so just a little hint at what's coming. I've been told that the beard kind of helps helps build that. Um, hey, Lily, how are you? Good to see you. Um, so I got a couple chicken breasts here. We're going to actually take these and we're going to slice them in half lengthwise. And then we're going to cut them up into just quarters. So we're going to get quite a number of these. They'll cook really, really fast. Um, um, and they'll cook a lot more evenly when we're, when all is said and done. Um, so we'll get this diced up or sliced up. I'll get this moved over to a plate or to a bowl. Not sure which yet. We'll figure that out. Um, and then I need to get everything else prepped. There's not a whole lot to prep tonight. Um, I know there are some people, um, I think she's actually still streaming. She gets a little nervous when I'm, I'm cutting things up, but, which is why our new, uh, Don donation goal, tip goal, I don't like the term donation, uh, the new tip goal is um, a set of new kitchen knives. Lily, thank you so much for using your Prime, I appreciate it. Thank you for six months, holy, appreciate it. Um, yeah, so we've got a new, new tip goal um, for... New kitchen knives because I want to replace this knife. Um, I want to get a vegetable knife and I want to get a an actual cleaver. Um, I have a couple of different knives that work all right. But like these are my my primaries. They've all been used and abused over the years um 
they do good, but I'd like to get down to three. I'd like to be able to have an edge be retained on them. I just, so many years of use and sharpening and whatnot makes it really tough. But yeah, how are y'all doing tonight? Doing well? Okay, let's go ahead. Sorry, I'm moving the, the camera. I need another bag because I don't want this to spill all over my trash can over here. And I forgot to take the trash out before this and it's getting kind of full. So I'm going to use this to double up. All right, Lily, what are you eating? For those of you that are eating dinner right now, what are you eating? Or eating a meal in general, because I know some of you are on very different time zones than I. Running on a little sleep and just chilling. Slice of pizza. If you guys don't already have one, one of the best investments I've ever made. These need to be washed. One of the best investments, because there's a lot of them, but there's, there's some that stand out more than others. One of the really good investments I've made is a vacuum sealer sucks but you're not in the mood to cook today pizza bad pizza is still good that's kind of my outlook on things i think that's a lot of people's outlook on it say hello I know she's at work all right so we're gonna take these So I just want to cut these into four or into each one of these into four individual. That's going to cook funny, but that's okay. Bad pizza is still pizza. Absolutely. So we've got four off of that one. I'm going to cut this one ahead of time. I should have done this on the other one, but I didn't. Basically going to butterfly it apart here. some of the fat that's still left on here. And it's funny because just the other day I was making a comment how I typically don't like to cut up chicken with my 
using my hands and getting it all over the, the chicken, but of course today I choose to do it this way. So we've got a bunch of little pieces of chicken here. Just going to throw it into a bowl. We'll season it with some salt and pepper. And then when we're ready, we'll go ahead and get it cooked. So I need to wash this stuff because I need to use the knife. I also need to wash my hands because I got chicken over there. So there's the knife. The cutting board. So that I can have this for here later. And because I don't like chicken drying on my cutting board. And we'll let that dry. Feel like you're cutting bird drying on that chicken. Breaking in taste of Lily. That's not good. Okay, so I'm gonna put some salt and pepper on this stuff. out and got mud on his paws and into the home. Ooh, not good. Gotta work on that with the doggo. Did I not put salt and pepper? What you're talking about, Luxon? I'm gonna go ahead and get make sure there's nothing in here because I store stuff occasionally. Be cool to have that play when he says salt and pepper. Oh, um, yeah, yeah, I know what you're talking about. Fairly certain these are my new shallots. I bought some and then I got sick last month, and so now I can't remember if I got rid of those. I think I did, and these are the new ones. Yeah, these look like the new ones. 
maybe. No, these don't feel like the new ones. break is done with the Lux and before I can talk to him again. Is the music going? Now that I'm, I can't tell because I can't hear it. I actually have that audio input turned off. I really like the taste of shallot and I like hey welcome back so we're gonna leave it fairly you have a lot of questions okay you know how to get a hold of me either text me or DM me either one those too small because I really like them <laughs> I don't like shallots super small um, I need to do the rosemary set that over there I need to grab the rosemary right here You're about to inherit a buddy's 3D printer. Oh, well, that just opens up a whole other conversation. <laughs> Do you know what kind of printer it is yet? I might be able to help a little bit here while we're on the phone or on the on stream. No, but it'll at least help me um, be prepared and see if I can help you. We're doing two full sprigs of of this. I love the smell of rosemary. I wish you guys could smell it. If you can use it, use fresh. Okay, anti-cubic proton moment. Okay. I haven't used it before, but I can do some checking into it.
Hero, how are you doing tonight? I'm not ignoring you, I promise. They're fairly simple, Lux, and I have faith in you. Okay, so let's go ahead. So this is a cilantro infused olive oil. I need to let the stove get hot. I wish I had more DSLRs. Because... <laughs> you know, Luxon, you eat enough cilantro, you can be. At least you can try. Not that I'm condoning it. You know what I really need? I need a splatter screen. I don't have one. Ah, uh, Anu, do you have Anu? Do you have the the genetics that cause you to have it taste like soap? If so, I'm sorry, because cilantro is wonderful. Yes, I'm cooking the whole thing of garlic bread, because screw it. Shannon's got that gene as well. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. I feel like I might. Does it, does, not, does it have a soapy flavor to it? Tastes like pennies or soap. Yep, that's what I've been told can't say that I know what that tastes like, but I'll tell you from the top of my head it's been so long. Fair enough. Shannon, how are you doing? Yeah, see, I tend to block out most of my childhood. One more piece in there. We're kind of crowding it, but that's okay. This probably was not the big enough pan for this, but that is a okay. Hey, 
<laughs> Following on around there, Nona. Shannon. What would you prefer I call you? Shannon? Call you whatever you want. Yeah, I desperately need a splatter screen. <laughs> See, I catch myself like half the time I it's Nona, half the time it's it's Shannon. We want to get a nice good crust on this chicken. But I don't want it to don't want it to get too We've got it about medium, a little over medium, a little under medium high. This is going to come together pretty quick. It's got some good color on it, and that's what I like to see. We'll wind up finishing me. Hope that's big. I don't think that's big enough. I'm missing a pan. We'll finish cooking the chicken on this. Give me a second, I'm sorry. All right, Shannon, go ahead and try that again. Cooking all these amazing looking foods when it's 5.30 a.m. is pure torture. Anu, that's, I mean, the time, the time sounds like it's a, it's a U-ish saying factor. That's what she said. Either one. Hands here. Just 
Found the self purge. Part of the curse on the sailor. Yeah, so I, I went ahead and, and fixed that. We're going to let that come to temperature. I mean, doesn't that chicken just look fantastic? And we're going to have all sorts of juices that are going to go into this pan sauce. Some mushrooms here. I was gonna get some chanterelles for this, but I did. I was afraid that the flavor would get lost on them. And the last thing I want to do is lose the flavor from very good, very expensive chanterelles. So this is gonna be a very mushroom-heavy sauce, but that's okay because I love mushrooms. We're gonna cook these down for a minute, and then I'm gonna add the shallots and rosemary. gonna probably dice up some green onion to go on top of this just because Okay, I will try to turn around and let me move the mic a little bit. Hopefully that'll help a little bit. Yeah, it, it does get that way. Unfortunately, my microphone is over by my... Dad, it's over by my, my cutting board, uh, which is part of the reason why I tend to, to stop and turn around over here while this cooks for a little bit. Um, I was using a wireless uh, lavalier mic, but it's just so garbage of quality that I didn't feel it was worth it. No, I, I know it's me and I know it's it's because I'm turned around. I'm, I might move that. I have another mic stand. I might move the mic over to the center of the kitchen. Um, I don't know if it'll it'll help. It is, so it's the Razer Siren Mini, so I believe it is just in front. Um, what is it? It's, I can't remember. I can't remember off the top of my head what the name of that is. Yes, thank you. I believe it's, I believe that's what it's on. It's not adjustable on this one.
A Siren Pro and a Shock Mount? How in the... What in the... Budget right now. Um, yeah. Three hundred dot. What? What? What are you saying? I'm gonna let this go for another. flower in quickly. Sorry, I'm moving quick right now, y'all. This be in my, like eight years ago. Hey, I'll give it a shot. it's still on the counter so I'm gonna have to clean that up uh, I'll probably text it to you Luxon as long as you still have the same number don't trust discord not that I don't trust you I don't trust discord This just needs to reduce down for a little bit. So we'll bring this up to temperature and then let it reduce. That'd be awesome. Yeah, because then I, I just got this the Siren Pro or the Siren Mini specifically for cooking streams. too much. 
much. I don't know what I did with my, my other stuff. That's okay. We're gonna use the heat to finish cooking this chicken because it definitely needs to finish. So this will probably take 10 minutes or so. Definitely hire you as a chef for myself if I had the possibility. I enjoy doing this. And I've really enjoyed sharing it with everybody. Um, I was always nervous about doing them. I, I did them in the past a few times, just a handful of them. I think I've now done more cooking streams in the last like, three weeks than I have in the six years that I've been streaming. We need to figure out a dish for this. Um, I think I'm just going to go traditional. And we're definitely going to go the white plate. Let me dice up some green onion. You cook, you just hate it. I love doing it. I always have. It's part of why I was. I almost went to culinary school. Um, then I saw the price tag on how much culinary school was and about had a heart attack. $120,000 was a little bit rich for my blood considering I was already three years into my education. through every move and every time you move you look at it why do I still have this eh, we'll give it a shot no harm in trying Watson no harm in trying whatsoever
All right, we got just a little bit of green onion here to go on this when it's all done. I don't have any cilantro or parsley. I don't have any parsley either. Might as well finish slicing all this up so I can just throw it in the fridge. I can use that in my guacamole. so good in here so so good put the garlic and the rosemary back so for my next stream what would you guys like to see I did get I did get some glacier point blue cheese um, so I could do, I was contemplating a copycat of uh, Olive Gardens, but obviously much better. Their, um, their balsamic glaze uh, steak Alfredo. But if you guys have suggestions, thoughts, um, occasionally, I've got a couple things that I'm really good at, Shannon. Um, I do a, um, fresh lemon and blueberry cheesecake, New York style cheesecake that is just freaking amazing. Um, cause I, I then lace in a, a lemon curd. Um, and then I do, um, uh, like strawberries and cream bread, which is really similar. It, it's really similar to, um, banana bread, but obviously strawberries and cream. Um, I do a banana bread. Um, I bake some different breads. I've been using, I've got a bread maker I've been using more and more just so I have fresh bread pretty regularly. Um, and then usually at the holiday time, I do a um, white chocolate craisin cookie. But I want to start experimenting with Japanese style milk bread. That's next on my, my endeavors in breads because Obviously, I really want to make milk bread because I eat a lot of um, egg salad sandwiches. And I love my QP mayo. I've got a bottle here. I've got another bottle here. <laughs> so when I make my egg salad sandwiches, I make them right. Um, but the Japanese milk bread is just so perfect. But I don't, other than that, I don't do a whole lot. Um, baking has never really been my, my big thing, but I just have a the selection. A lot of times I'll do the cookies for like family and, and gifts around Christmas time, but kind of everybody's moved. Um, this chicken to make sure I need to make sure that chicken finishes cooking love baking but you hate cooking see I am the exact opposite um, on baking wing the recipe and it still comes out great there are very few people that can wing a a baking recipe Baking is very science oriented, so very measured oriented. So if you've got a good eye for it, that's solid. That, yeah, I wouldn't either, Anna. 
cooking is like that, but baking is absolutely, if you've got a clam chowder, no. So we are making um, a chicken and uh, mushroom sauce. It's showing a little bit wider than it, it probably is on the, in real life. It is starting to brown a little bit, which is what we're looking for. But it's got, um, Definitely clam chowder. <laughs> and it looks like it. The white balance is probably off. I hate webcams. I wish I could use my DSLRs, but I don't want to get moisture near the DSLR in the form of steam. Um, yeah, Shannon, if you, if you can do that, that is amazing. That is an amazing skill to have. Um, because very, very few people can do that. I can do that with a couple of things, but when it comes to baking, that those couple of things are very, very rare. Um, cooking, obviously, yes. I, stuff changes on the regular for me. I will butcher your name. Is that Nabadaz? I'll try. Welcome. Um, we're just waiting for this to cook down and and uh, thicken up and then we'll get it all plated up and um, chit chat a little bit about what the next next cooking stream will be um, but yeah baking also for me is it's too long and there's a lot of downtime so I try to pick things that um, I try to pick cooking streams that are fairly easy to constantly be going um, stuff like waiting for this it gives me a good opportunity to chat with you guys um, but I do try to find things that are that are pretty easy or if I have to marinate something ahead of time I'll do that what I should do Good, Anu. Don't eat frozen dinners. Well, there are some, but not mainstream. Those are really particularly streamlined chef ones. Uh, that you can get. Looks like we're getting, getting nice and thick on the sauce here. <laughs> Luxon, Luxon, Luxon. No one will ever have to know. Why is my phone going crazy over here? Oh, Wheels is texting me. I need to help him with something tomorrow. Oh, by the way, um, results from last night's design stream. I'm partway done with it here, but we are working on a So I've got a new design for a keyboard. So this is a, let me scale it down to screen. So that is a 96% or 1800 layout uh, that will be able to be 3D printed. That is 
done. So, I my new 3D printer will be here on um, on Wednesday. So, starting on Wednesday, I'll be able to uh, start prototype printing it because it currently won't fit on my um, existing printer. The new printer will allow me to Um, you know, I don't know because this new printer prints, um, like five times as fast as my current one. Um, if I were to print it on my current one, it'd probably take, at the speed my current one goes, probably 18 to 24 hours, depending. Cutting up some garlic right here. There, we go. Can you guys see that? Put my drink back behind there so I can get it out of the screen. You guys know me I do like to take if I could share with y'all I absolutely would I would love to do something where I could do like a an in-person cooking stream and share with all y'all but um, that that makes things rather difficult give me just a second I'm gonna add some extra backlight in here Is that, well, I guess that's not too bad. Looks like it's
I have four servings left. No. Three servings left. So you guys can see what I see. Hope that's not too blurry. If it is, so yeah, I'm excited to dive into this. But yeah, thank you guys so much for hanging out tonight. I know, kind of a short stream tonight. Not too bad. A little over an hour. Um, but oh we need to figure out what we're doing for next stream what are your thoughts what do you guys want to see i'm gonna start mentioning on this too i know luxon that's what happens when you're you're not doing things like work oh it's good oh it's very good Rip next stream. Okay. Um, what what do you want to see? Do you, I could do pasta. I could do a steak and shrimp. I could do... Last time I did surf and turf, we tried lobster, but I'm never buying lobster from that company again. Two days in a row, had a day off, worked two more in a row. Yesterday was 10 hours on four and a half hours of sleep. Ouch. I've been thinking about getting a, a runner, something easy you can replicate and not ugly cry while doing it. Um, shrimp scampi is really easy to do. Um, I could do like a, a shrimp alfredo. I could do proper alfredo, not this this heavy cream Alfredo that you see. Um, you know, think of think of what you would like to eat. And I can also, one of the things that I'm really good at is taking it what would normally be a really difficult or time consuming recipe and I can make it easy. Simplify it down. Shepherd's pie. Um, we could do that another one. Yeah, Lux and I will text you tonight. Steak stuff sounded good though. Okay. Chicken and broccoli Alfredo or stuffed chicken. Um, actually, a chicken and broccoli Alfredo would be good. So would stuffed chicken. Um, we could do a chicken and broccoli Alfredo. Um, we can do that. Let's let's start with a shrimp dish next week. Um, so we could do. Here's an idea. What if we did a steak and shrimp with um, no Anu? There's a lot of American style Alfredo, which is still like a really thick, cheesy Parmesan, heavy. Like creamy parmesan because they add either milk or cream um, but a lot of like good parm i've got some good parmesan in the fridge um, to actually make a lighter alfredo so it's it's just a parmesan um, but i'm thinking if we did 
So we could do two different sides. We could do like balsamic glazed um, Brussels sprouts and um, we could do rosemary and thyme roasted uh, potatoes, like diced cubed potatoes. Um, that would be really easy to do with steak and shrimp. I'm going to turn this light off though because it's blowing up my white balance. Um, I think Anu's liking that idea. Okay, so let me, I'll go to the grocery store tomorrow. Because if, see, am I going to have time on Thursday night? This might have to be either a Friday or a Saturday stream for the be drooling in your sleep. Um, it'll have to be either a Friday or a Saturday stream because that's a lot of prep work. But let's do steak and shrimp with balsamic glazed but Brussels sprouts and rosemary and thyme roasted red potatoes. Um, why did that do, why did Stream Elements say the 3D printer? Streamlabs is supposed to be showing. So that's not the tip goal. The tip goal is for the new kitchen knives. I went ahead and bought the new 3D printer and I didn't even buy that 3D printer. There we, there, there Streamlabs decided it was going to, to do it. Thank you Streamlabs for coming in and, and telling us, um, but yeah, I think that would be a good stream to do. Um, that'll be a fun one. Um, I'm going to go look for a new plate, too, that we can do that'll go nicely with that. I collect uh, plates that I think photograph well. Um, plates and bowls, y'all have seen me. I went to Costco the other day, and for those of you that weren't here the other day, I have no use for more than one of these, but I picked up these these fun serving dishes. I have three more. I don't know what I'm gonna do with all four of them. I tried to give my mother two of them. She didn't want them. Um, but and then okay, so then we've got shepherd's pie has been requested. Looks like you're out at some fancy place. The food is fantastic. The white wine is just, there, you get just this decadent light flavor of the wine. This is just a, a literally a cheap, cheap, cheap bottle of wine. It's just a cheap Chardonnay. Thank you so much for five gifted subs. Do you mind if I use your real name? Or do you want me to call it Lady Rianne? Thank you, Christina. I really do appreciate you. Thank you for stopping by. Thank you for, for gifting five subs to Austin, Mel, Anu, Crushers, and Paul Cooks. It's been forever. I should probably text you soon. Um... But yes, thank you so much for gifting the subs. I really appreciate it. Goes a long way. Means a lot. Um, you timed it just in time as I finished cooking. And we're just tasting the chicken and mushroom sauce here. It is absolutely fantastic. It's good. I will probably eat a couple of servings tonight. So, okay. So we have it on the docket. We're going to do steak and shrimp next, next stream with the balsamic Brussels sprouts. And, um, they do save for like 60 days, I think. 
So it'll be it'll be on there. The last several weeks of VODs should be on there. Um, but yeah, we're going to do the steak and shrimp next stream. We will do a shepherd's pie the following stream. And then either a chicken and broccoli Alfredo. Um, or a stuffed chicken. And then what about stuffed bell peppers after that? I, I kind of want to get my my do a dessert. Um, one of these, ooh, you know would be really good? We could make a peach cobbler um, with the steak and shrimp. That's That might have to move to a weekend. I'll have to see if I can find some peaches. Or I guess it's, it's uh, it is almost Thanksgiving. Maybe I make a, a um, an apple pie. Just a, just a small apple pie. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'd have to do that on a Saturday where I have more time. Um, but that would go really good with the steak and shrimp and Brussels sprouts. I might have to... Yeah. <laughs> Your dog's looking at you now for drooling. Um, actually, that'd probably be... A good night to do that would be on the the chicken and broccoli alfredo night or the shepherd's pie night probably the broccoli and chicken alfredo night because stuff will have to, to cook for a bit um, let me figure out a couple menus for y'all um, make sure you follow my socials I don't know why my Facebook's still listed there um, I don't use that Facebook anymore Stream Elements is just failing me tonight. Follow my Twitter. I will be posting the menu on there. Um, I will work the menu up tonight. Um, and I will schedule streams out for the next... Because Thanksgiving is... A week from Thursday. Is it a week from Thursday? When is Thanksgiving, y'all? American Thanksgiving, the proper one. Yeah, so Thanksgiving is a week from Thursday. Um, as of right now, I don't have plans for Thanksgiving. Um, my brother and his wife are spending it with um, her family. Um, I don't have any plans set yet to go to my parents' house. Um, And I know there's people that don't do anything for Thanksgiving, so part of me thought about doing a Thanksgiving stream. Maybe we do one on Wednesday night, um, and we'll do just a, instead of a chicken, I'll do a, or instead of a turkey, I'll do maybe a baked chicken. Um, and we'll do some mashed potatoes and cranberries and, and stuff. So that is going <clears> to, <throat> I'm going to do that. Um, and we'll just roast a chicken in the oven. Um... Yeah, let me let me let me set up a menu. Thursday, I may wind up at my parents' house just because that's kind of what we've always done. Yep, we'll stuff the chicken. Um, yeah, I think that'll be good. All right, y'all. Make sure you follow my Twitter if you haven't already. If you haven't followed the stream, please do so. Um, I really appreciate every single one of you being here. Christina, thank you so much again for the five gifted subs. Um, just getting us closer and closer to our, our goal. We're trying to get some more emotes unlocked. So the more subs we have, um, the more emote slots I can I can add for everybody. Um, and every, every little bit goes right back into the stream, whether it's in the form of equipment for the stream or whether it's giveaways or anything like that. So we'll be doing some some giveaways for the US. I'm sorry, Anu. I can always ship them to Chad and you can get them when you get there if you wind up winning one. Um, but I'm gonna be doing some 3D printed giveaways um, starting in December. Um, and we'll try to get it. Um... Thank you so much. We are almost at our goal. We only have two left. Wow. 
Um, so yeah, I'm going to be doing some 3D printed gnomes. Um, and um, probably some, I've got a 3D printed Yeti. Actually, give me two seconds. I'll show you the Yeti. This is not the color that it will be in. Uh, let's see if it'll focus, focus, focus. Arms move, legs move. Let's see if it'll focus here. Just so I can see. Um, so I did not design this, however, I am a reseller. Um, the gnomes will be ornaments with the same movement and whatnot. Um, so this is designed by, um, there's a, a designer that I'm, I'm a third party reseller for. Um, so these will be available in the Etsy shop. Um, those will be, the Yetis are gonna be printed in white. The gnomes are gonna be printed in red. They will have candy canes, which I will probably do in white. Um, either candy canes or, or lollipops that they'll have that they hold in their hand. Um, thank you for two more. Christina, you didn't have to do that. I appreciate you. We have now hit our goal. Thank you guys so much. Thank you for gifting a, a sub to Pastel and Unikey. I appreciate it. Wow, thank you. I I really do. I really do appreciate it. Um, but yeah, so the for those that don't want to wait for the giveaways or you don't win anything, if you do want some of the the ornaments or the the gnomes, um, the I will also have um, some sloth face. So there'll be sloth face um, planters that have drain holes in the bottom so you can put them onto the plastic drain um, sheets so that you can you can plant some stuff in your sloth container. There's a bunch of other stuff that'll be going up there. Um, as soon as the new printer gets in, I'll be doing some of the bigger prints that I've got. Um, yeah, yeah, I'm excited. And I'm gonna scale them in different scales so that we can, so that people can have different sizes. Um, they're absolutely adorable. Um, but yeah, more to come on those. Um, yeah, I will post the um, the menu on Twitter as well as in my Discord. Uh, if you haven't joined my Discord, make sure you join the Discord. Um, still building that out and getting everything configured for it. Let's see who's online. you were live all right y'all so Christina happens to be a very good friend of mine from from college and um, she's live right now so uh, we're gonna go ahead and go rate her um, go show her some love she like I said she's a very very close friend of mine um, yeah Go show her some love, and we'll have to see you guys. Oh, yep, yep. We're we're all coming to coming to say hi. Thanks again, y'all. I appreciate you. And you guys have an awesome rest of your night. And I really can't wait for the next stream. Thanks again, y'all. Have a good night.